In the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful, here I back again with the new lesson out of unit 8 for the second grade, for the second grade. So the grammar, the grammar on page 66. So open your book, page 66, and also the exercise continue until page 67, page 67. So let's do this then. Okay, grammar, should and shouldn't. Now those tools, totally used in the English language as advice. If I want to give advice, so I'm going to use should and shouldn't. Should for affirmative and shouldn't for the negative, as it usually we have learned that. Okay, should and shouldn't. Use should, shouldn't to give and ask for advice. For advice, okay, for advice. Okay, look at the examples. Why should I do what what should I do about my bad grades? The answer or the advice, you should study more. You should study more. To increase in that, to upgrade that. Okay, question two. What should I do when I have a stomach ache? You shouldn't eat so much. I mean, this is here not the... Now here, uh, falsify the, um, the problem. You should see the doctor. You should see the doctor when you have a stomach, go immediately to the doctor. And don't waste your time because um, side effects might happen. Okay, let's go to the next one. Closes with the win. Uh, question um, number one. What do you do when you have a cold? I usually take some aspirin. Uh, no, actually, okay, you should see the doctor. If you have any cold, if you have any illnesses, you go immediately to the doctor. Don't take any um, any prescription, ready prescription from anyone. No, go to the doctor uh, just to avoid uh, the side effects of the medicine. Okay, uh, question two. Um, what did you do when you had the flu? I stayed in bed. I stayed in bed. Okay, so that's it and simple. I translated those items and I think they are easy. We didn't need just to speak Arabic anymore. Okay, let's go to the next exercise. Exercise A. Okay, work with the button, ask and answer questions with the how do you feel when? How do you feel when? This is the question. Then you're going to change the situation according to those adjectives. Okay, uh, use the words in the box. Okay, look at this. How do you feel when you lose something? I feel angry and nervous. So all of them here in this space. Okay, how does this work? Look at this example. How do you feel when you exercise? Exercise is one of those items. I feel great. I mean, this is here. It should be here in this place. And also B, how do you feel when you eat a lot? I feel sleepy. They want to sleep, want to sleep. Okay, so let's look to the brown or beige rectangular shape. Okay, rectangular shape, beige. Um, now here, afraid, angry, bad. Bored, excited, fine, okay, glad, great, happy, hot, hungry, ill, nervous, relaxed, sad, sick, sleepy, strong, terrible, thirsty, tired, weak, wonderful, worried. Okay, so let's go to the questions. How do you feel when you exercise? Okay, I feel weak. Okay, number two. How do you feel when you eat a lot? I feel relaxed. I want to sleep. Okay, so, I mean, this is not recommended the idea just to eat a lot and go to bed. No, go and at least walk. Okay, so uh, we are try just to avoid um, uh, obesity. Other city. Okay, so number three. You see or hear bad news on TV. Okay, sad. I feel sad. Okay. I mean, how do you feel when when you hear or see a bad news on the TV? I feel sad. Okay, number four. Uh, you are not prepared for the test. I'm scared. How do you feel when you are not prepared for the test? I feel scared. Okay, number five. You have nothing to do. How do you feel when you have nothing to do? I feel fine. Okay, number six. You need to go to the uh, dentist. 
I feel afraid. Uh, yeah, actually, yes. This is here most. Okay, so number seven. You see a sad film on TV, cry. Yeah, maybe sometimes cry or at least you, you, you'll be sad. Also, you know they are um, uh, fictional. Okay, number eight. You don't sleep well, tired. Okay, you do well. How do you feel? This is the question. How do you feel when um, you do well in your test? I feel happy actually. Okay, number 10. You need to make an ex uh, excuse, an excuse, okay, uh, to the teacher. It's smart. Now, the, your excuse should be smart, okay? Um, uh, just to, um, to accept your excuse. Okay, number 11. You traveled by the plane. Wonderful. Okay, uh, 12. You need to say goodbye to a friend. Um, yeah, sometimes sad, sometimes glad. It is depending on the person. But, okay, let's go to the next exercise, which is exercise B. I think all of the coming exercise related to exercise B, uh, related to exercise A, began to the uh, beige rectangular shape. Okay, now B. Now, tell your partner, what do you do in situation exercise A? When I lose something, I look and look for it. When I exercise, I usually drink a lot of water. Exercise C. What could the partner ask and answer question? Use the adjective in the box in exercise A. I am really angry. Why? Because I lost my keys. Okay, go to the next page, page 67. Go to page 67. Base 67. That's it here. Base 67. D. Match the problem with the advice, then practice with the partner. A. I have temperature. B. You should take some medicine. Okay, after um, getting the consultation, don't take any medicine until you consult doctor in his clinic. And that's it, obviously. Okay, problem and advice. One. I have headache. D, you should take some aspirin. Mm -mm. Okay, two, we are very tired. A, you should take a rest. Number three, Mariam has a stomach ache. E, she shouldn't eat anything right now. Number four, Ahmed has toothache. B, he should go to the dentist. Number five, the children have a sore throat. F, they should drink warm liquids. Number six, Faisal is afraid of shots. Shots. Num uh, C, let us see. He should take some bells in a state. Okay, turn to the next exercise, which is uh, this one. I think this is here, exercise uh, listening. We to the listening task. Listen to what is wrong with the person. Write the number uh, to the correct photo. Uh, write the name of the NSAs next to the number. Okay, so A, cold or headache. Okay, B, stomach ache. C, tooth ache. D, back ache. E, sore throat. Okay, so I think this is here, the end of our lesson for this, um, yeah, this is here, the end of our lesson. I hope to see you soon. Until then, have a great time. Bye-bye.